I don't really know if there was ever a defining moment that led me to where I am, but I definitely think there was a defining mindset that got me here. And it was when I stopped allowing my past to dictate my future. It was whenever I stopped holding on to little things that had happened to me or big things that had happened to me. And I allowed myself to move on and to live a new life and to completely let go of the things that gave me comfort and to just jump out and try new things and allow myself to be a different person. That was when I think I, things just kept happening and amazing things came together in my life. It was at that moment when I just let it all go. What, what makes me feel happy in my own skin, I honestly really think has a lot to do with passion and, um, and purpose. Um, I feel like I've figured that out for myself, possibly at, a, at an early age, um, but it's the driving force of everything that I do. I'm a huge believer that what you put into the universe comes back to you. Um, and in fact, part of my recovery when I was you know, trying to rebuild my life after vision loss and depression um, was creating my first vision board. And every single thing except one has happened, which is wild to me. Um, and I, it's, it's happened again and again and again. I, I make a new one and I check things off. And so I really believe like sky's the limit. Why not dream big? I like breaking down my goals and my dreams into smaller, more digestible steps so that I feel like I'm slowly getting there. Um, if your dream is too far away and too big, then it might be pretty hard to get there. So break it down and make it as easy as you can for yourself. If I counted every single time somebody, I could, somebody told me that I could not achieve my dreams, I wouldn't have been able to count to that number. What I do is I write out my goal and I think about the path to get there, but I understand the importance in having a plan B or a plan C and knowing that life might redirect you in a different avenue or a different way, but you can still get there or find a new goal that you didn't even think of and get to that one instead. So just allowing yourself to be flexible and try new things, but also being motivated and driven for something else in the future. Things are scary, things are uncomfortable, and to allow yourself to go for it and to step out of that comfort zone is so powerful and so scary, but it's so important because that's what's going to get you to your goals. You know, we talk about um, bravery a lot and courage a lot, uh, which are things that are necessary for stepping outside of your comfort zone. And it's really important to remember that, you know, courage or, um, Bravery, it's, it's not the absence of fear, it's being afraid and doing it anyway. And so I think when we can recognize that the fear is still gonna be there, but it's not gonna be the boss of you, then you know how to move forward to create the change that you know is necessary. And I think knowing that each of us has the power to create change, it kind of helps fuel that bravery.